Hi there, Daniel from Cycler here again. Uh, today we're going to be looking at integrating Contact Form 7 with Pipedrive. And the first thing we're going to want to do before we create the workflow is go over to our docs section, uh, which is docs.cycler.com, where we actually have a Contact Form 7 plugin, which will help you actually be able to do this. So if you go there, the URL is on the screen, read the first bit and install the plugin, we can go from there. Right, so now in the Cycler Builder, we're going to be using a Contact Form 7 plugin uh, connector here, and we're also going to be going into our uh, Pipe Drive connector, which should be installed already. So we're going to be first using the Form Entry uh, method, which we drag onto the builder. When you open up the step here for setting up, that will give you a webhook address that you can actually paste into the, the plugin that you've just installed. All the details are in the documentation there. Um, so put that in and that will trigger the entire workflow. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want any of these form entries to then be added as a new person in Pipedrive. So we drag that onto the builder as well. Uh, but again, there's probably going to be a few things we want to do beforehand. We want to make sure there's no duplicates. So we do that by looking at the list people uh, method and connecting that to our form entry. And then we need some logic using our decision step. And what we're going to be wanting to do is to look at the new form entry and see if the email address is already in the list of people we have in Pipedrive. So we set this up here. So we're asking, is the new email address that's been submitted in the Pipedrive list of people's what? list of complete email addresses and then we have the true or false uh, red or green action based on that so we're looking for if people aren't in that then we can add a new person so using the red branch we connect that to the add person and map the fields so with pipe drive you're going to want to have a complete name rather than first and last so you do that with the type value here so this step you can add multiple fields together and it will, it will stop any incomplete fields being passed so there we go we're putting the basic details here so those will be created within pipe drive when a new person contacts you via the contact form 7.